Hello people and welcome to the channel. I've had my Pico 4 for a few weeks now and in that time it has become my main VR headset but as I said in my recent review it does have a few issues. The facial interface is stiff and uncomfortable, the battery life isn't up to long gaming sessions, the audio is adequate, not bad, just adequate, plus the decision by Pico to not include a 3.5mm audio jack is baffling to say the least. So what can we do? We can do four essential upgrades, so let's get straight into it then and remember, we're born to respawn. I would like to introduce you to the Franken Pico. <coughs> or would the Pico Stein be funnier? <coughs> anyway, this is my Pico 4. I'm going to talk about my four essential upgrades, my thought process behind them, and then I want to quickly discuss the three essential upgrades that we don't yet have access to and how they could improve your experience. So make sure you stay tuned right to the end for that. Excited? I know I am. Before we start, I have opened up channel membership, so if you enjoyed this video, you can now click the join button, get custom emojis, channel loyalty badges, members exclusive giveaways, and help support the madness that is Mac and VR. Thanks. Essential upgrade number one. Despite the fact that the Pico 4 is so light, weighing in at only 589 grams, with a brilliant 50-50 weight distribution front to rear, the facial interface is not up to the task. It is stiff, uncomfortable, plus it allows a small amount of light bleed on the left and right of your face. Clearly my sculpted cheekbones are too sharp for Pico. There are currently no replacement facial interfaces on the market, though I have been in contact with VR Cover. More on that later in the video. So what's the solution? Budget. I have a spare thin facial interface from VR Cover for my Quest 2. I laid some double-sided tape on the original facial interface here and basically just stuck the pad on. It isn't ideal, it pushes your eyes about 5mm further away from the pancake lenses, so may therefore reduce the field of view slightly, but it is now super comfortable, and until we get the official support from VR Cover or Kiwi Design, essential upgrade number two. The Pico 4 battery is mounted at the rear of the head strap and is fully integrated, similar to the Quest Pro. So, this removes your choice of changing the head strap or using the excellent Bobar VR M2 Pro magnetic battery strap for the Meta Quest 2. Currently, my clear choice upgrade for Meta's baby headset. You could just put a power bank in your pocket and run a cable to the Pico's USB-C port, but come on people, this is 2022, not the Stone Age, we've moved on. Luckily, Bobo VR also offer the B2 dock to upgrade their non-battery M2 Plus strap, and it just so happens to fit the Pico 4, with a bit of modification. Run the head strap, through the supplied Velcro mount. Peel the protective plastic from the sticky pad and push it onto the top of the Pico strap without impeding the ratchet. The battery may still wobble about, so just in case, apply some double-sided sticky tape here and here. I've used some Velcro straps to hold the cable securely in place. It's not pretty, but it gets the job done and lengthens your gaming for as long as your Bobo VR batteries last. Essential upgrade number three. Pico's decision to not include a 3.5mm audio jack on their new headset is baffling to say the least, especially for people who like to use headphones or earbuds in VR. But fear not, my sturdy fellows, the solution is as simple as this. This is a USB-C to 3.5mm audio adapter and cost me the paltry sum of £5 on Amazon. Problem solved. But Mac, I hear you cry. What if I want to charge my headset and use my favourite headphones or earbuds? Well, in that case, you'll need one of these. This costs a little more, about £15 on Amazon, but solves that problem as well. Looks a bit messy, but hey, this is Frank and Pico. <coughs> or Pico Stein. <coughs> I haven't decided yet. My final essential upgrade. I wear glasses, so my fourth essential upgrade is these prescription lens inserts from VR Rock. They come in the sturdy hard case, and at first I thought they were two-piece items, like the lenses in my Quest 2. But no! The lenses have hard covers to protect them from scratches and have these three magnets here. So I was a little bit confused to be honest, how do they install on the headset? Is there something I'm missing? And yes, there was something I was missing. They don't need inserts as they just stick to the frames of the pancake lenses using the magnets I showed you. So cool! You don't even need to remove the facial interface to install them. 
With the VR Rock prescription lenses in place, the already sharp and clear LCD panels become even more crisp. Text is easier to read, color pass through looks sharper, and improve my Pico experience. Plus the lenses have blue light filters. Blue light from high resolution displays may harm your eyesight, but the VR Rock lenses are coated to prevent blue light from reaching your eyeballs. So even if you don't need glasses yet, you can protect your peepers from blue light and unwanted glare. I am not sponsored by VR Rock, but I do have a good working relationship with them as I use their lenses in my Quest 2, Pico Neo 3 Link, and now my Pico 4. Plus, they are currently having a Halloween sale, so if you fancy a pair of these superb lenses, use the discount code MACINVRHALLOWEEN for 15% off your purchase. Or, if the offer has ended, please use my affiliate link in the description below. So, there are my four essential Pico 4 upgrades to improve your comfort, battery life, audio, and clarity. But, what are the three essential upgrades that we don't currently have access to? First up is the Mag Cup adapters from ProTube VR's excellent gun stock. This is my ProTube VR as the carbon tubes and a force tube haptic unit for deep immersion in VR FPS games like Contractors and onwards. I have spoken to ProTube and they are currently working on a solution for the Pico 4 and have promised me early access. I'm hoping the Mag Cup mounts will be as elegant as the beautiful Valve Index controller mounts. I have spoken to VR Cover via Twitter and they are also developing a solution to the Pico 4's uncomfortable facial interface, though they are being a bit more coy when this will be released. Keep an eye on the channel's community page for any updates. Finally, the audio and charging solution I've come up with above looks a bit messy. It gets the job done, but if you're a tidy freak, like me, then it messes with your OCD. Luckily, Soundcore have been working very closely with Meta, and have come up with a perfect solution for the Pico 4's audio shortcomings. The Soundcore VRP10 wireless earbuds connect using a USB-C dongle to prevent the normal audio lag associated with Bluetooth, but the dongle also has a USB-C port for charging. So hopefully this will be a far neater solution and won't trigger my OCD. Anyway, they are currently not available in the UK, so I've had to order them from the US of A, and hopefully they'll be with me soon. So. Keep an eye on the channel for that. Also, what are your essential Pico 4 upgrades? Is there an essential upgrade you think I've missed? Are you looking forward to the pillowy soft VR cover? You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.